What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slap Train. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport 5. This is episode 17 of our Let's Play today. And gentlemen, today we're going to be going through a very, very nice league. This is something new. Class competition. And we're going to be running the beautiful Audi right now. I picked this up when we had, you know, the half price in the car. So I figured, you know, I'd let this thing rip finally for we once. once again and we go on a circuit to Spa in Belgium, gentlemen. I cannot wait. And, you know, I've been playing GT6 quite a bit lately. And it's nice to come back to Forza and, you know, run some some well-known tracks and some amazing graphics on this game. So I'm definitely hyped to play it. I'm sure you guys are pretty hyped to watch it as well too. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. As I said, if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you guys leave a comment and a like. Let's me know you guys enjoy watching these. You know what I mean? It makes me makes you feel good seeing all those likes, John. I appreciate it a lot. You know what I'm saying? So here we go right now. Modern circuits. Um, this is a very tight circuit for a lot of sections. I have not got to race this car yet, so it's the first time using this thing. Hopefully it goes well. It doesn't throw me into a corner or something. Alright gentlemen, here we go, 4.35 miles, two laps on this puppy, should be pretty much going through this very quick, I don't see a reason why not, let's go here, the e-tron baby, Ooh. oh are you, are you serious right now, they have got to fix that man, that is so stupid, I don't know why they do that, now we're stuck here playing catch up, Oh, you know what? We're just going to restart this. Rattle right off the bat. Not happy. They got to fix that. I don't know what that is about this, but you cannot, you know, hold it up to red line and just let it go. For some reason, it just, no, nope, you're not allowed. So I don't know. I mean, if it's something that I'm doing, let me know. But I mean, you would think that you'd be able to just red line and then just drop the clutch on it, but I guess not. So we're going to start off nice and slow with this and see what happens this time. Like, come on, man. So fucking stupid. Jeez. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this cockpit view. Like, how am I supposed to see? How do you see? I'm already getting rattled with this damn car right now. We better be making up for it in some crazy lap times. Here we go. Look at all the cars. They're already a mile ahead of us. This car is not the greatest to right now, at least from what I'm watching right now. Damn, man. I'm not liking this thing. See how the braking power is here. It's not bad. Holds very nice. He's a boat, though, man. Most strong out of the corners. I find, like, well, this thing only redlines at 4,500, so, you know, that definitely has something to do with it for sure. Look at this thing, though. This thing's a boat. Oops. Yeah, it's going to be very tough to catch that first and second guy up there. Maybe not, though. We'll see. I'm going to pass Boston right here. Holy shit. We're going around outside right now. Here we go. Excuse me. I don't know why he just break right there really hard. So we're going to go off track. Here we go. Oh, that's 787 just plowing people. Here we go. Ninth place. Let's see if we can catch up here. Oh, my goodness. Now, definitely, you know, the controls are a lot different than Gran Turismo, man. You know, it's very hard to kind of judge both games against each other. And you really can't. I mean, it's like comparing, you know, Forza 5, or sorry, Call of Duty to Battlefield. You know, it's just it's something that you cannot do. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I definitely respect both games for what they are, what they have to offer, not, you know, what they're lacking. And, hey, I mean, obviously, you guys already know how I feel about Forza and how they're kind of dropping the ball this year. We're going to cut this, though, because they haven't fixed this stupid patch yet. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Going to get into third, or, yeah, third place somehow. We're going to have a damn solid run right now to catch these guys. There we go. How do you spin this thing? Are you? I have a feeling I got sim steering on from before. I was trying sim steering last night to see how it was compared to um, 
Gran Turismo and you know it wasn't the greatest. Sim steering is very difficult and I feel that it's really only mainly used for uh, people that actually have a wheel. That's why I think that they made sim steering for in this game, not for anybody that's using on a controller because I feel that they've already made... The oh my goodness we just made up some crazy time right there. I think we can get by in the dirt. We gotta get some ground up right now sir. Oh man we damaged some parts right there. We gotta... Nope, nope. What do you think? Think I can go in the middle of these guys? Here we go. We're gonna try it. Yeah! Some bogus right there. Alright, let's try it again. Woo! Get dummied! Oh! Shit! Oh my god. Dude. Sim steering is definitely on right now. You guys can tell right away as soon as I hit that man. Come on, man. I need to get by these guys or else I'm not gonna even. Oh! Get off me, sir. Get off me. Get off me. Thank you. There you go. Cause an accident back there. Here we go. We're in fifth. We need to be in fourth at least. Or third, sorry. Here we go. Good corner. We need to have some perfect corners right now in order to come even remotely close to passing these guys. Here we go. Perfect corner. Fucking sim steering, man. I keep forgetting it's on. You can barely notice it with these cars, and then once it's on, it just whips you right out of it. Here we go, here we go. I'll take the damn grass. I don't even care right now. We gotta do something. I'm gonna be really rattled if I don't get at least a gold on this race. Especially out of those stupid starting gates, man. There we go. Beautiful section right there. Beautiful section. Oh. Like, what is that? Is that even realistic? Oh my god, dude. I don't know, gentlemen. This is not looking good for us right now. Here we go. That was a bad move. That was a stupid downshift. We gotta go back. We're going back. Here we go. Oh yeah, hold it. Fourth in a second. I oh, yo, we just smacked that wing right off that 787. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Let's try and keep him on the outside. He's going outside this time. He is too. Why would he go outside this time? It's completely messed me up. We're gonna try and take his draft right now and do something. That 787 is gone. Oh my goodness. I wish I could sell this car right now in the auction house because this thing would be going up right now. Yeah, it's great in the corners and everything, but it's not where I need it to be. Can I cut it? Is there anybody even here? No. Yeah. We're in fourth place, guys. Great. What do you think you're doing, 70? Get back there. Some bullshit on that, man. I tell you that right now. It's bogus. Should have won that. At least came in third, but as I said, man, it's all about the starting on this game. If you don't have a decent starting spot, you're done for the rest of the game. That's why, you know, people were saying in the comments, like, why are you trying to go through cars so quickly? Just play the game. But with the new drive guitars, once they go out in front and if they have people that know what they're doing, they're gone. You're not catching them. So it makes it very frustrating, um, very tough. I don't know. So hopefully uh, this next one we can kind of bounce back, take a first place victory on this. See how it goes. All right, continue. We're going to continue this. I'm going to go back later and finish that race. I don't want to do it twice. All right. See what we can do now. The next event takes Sebring. Us back to okay. I like Sebring. Sebring International Raceway. I like Sebring. I'll tell you that right now. This game is amazing for Sebring. All right, guys. I'd like to know, well, obviously, but um, this is a very, very, say, polished game from what Gran Turismo is. And, you know, it's tough to come back and go towards Gran Turismo, back to forwards of Gran Turismo. This, all the physics are different, you know, the controls are different. But, um, you know, I do 
and I keep saying this, I do have a respect for both games for what they are. You know, I feel that Gran Turismo is a game where it's a little bit harder to jump into, but when you get into it and you kind of master it, you know, it's a little bit easier. But I feel with Forza, it's very, very easy to get into Forza, but it's very, very tough to master a game. Let's see what I can do here. Like, look at that. There is no way to launch the damn car. Come on, man. And I have simulation steering on too. I know I do. Fuck. Hold on. Tell me I don't have some. Yeah, I do too. Okay, good. No, hold on. Yeah, I do. Alright. Here we go. Let's see if somehow, some miraculous way that I cannot stall this thing, because I haven't figured out a way yet. I don't know. Like, there is no way not to stall this, man. Come on. This is some bullshit right now. Like. I don't know if that's a glitch in the game or what, but I'm letting it go at like 2,000 RPM, 4,000, doesn't matter. I'll redline the fuck out of it right now and it still does it. Like, watch this. This is gonna redline right now. Here we go. Yeah, that's 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 perfect, right? You know, that's that's exactly what I wanted to do at the start of a fucking race. Like, come on, man. That's some bogus right there. Here we go. I'm trying to run this in this crazy ass camera too. Of course. This game just keeps, you know, it keeps getting better and better. It just hates me. It's, that's exactly what it goes down right now. Why am I in fourth gear right now? I really fucking wish I could just sell this car and just scrap it, but current time has stopped the ability to even sell your damn vehicles I don't understand the logic on that. Come on. Let's go, crowd. Past this side effect 69. Everyone's gonna be just breaking your shit coming right now. There we go. Yeah, body damage, down force, there we go. Rewind, I don't even give a shit. I don't know, this game's just frustrating me a lot in the career mode with these driving guitars. They really are. You know, I mean it sucks for the people that actually can drive when you're playing, but I don't know. I really don't know anymore. Turn 10's gotta do something to retrieve, you know, what they've lost. This guy's gonna come right on the track. There you go, perfect. Buddy. Get off me. Like, I'm not racing online. Like, these guys shouldn't be hitting me. Jesus. There we go. The guy's getting a little swirly. I'll, I'll pick up that culprit. Alright, here we go, gentlemen. Just a nice straight line right up here. Drivers are slowing down. Like, come on, man. Here we go. Oh, I'm off the track. Beautiful. Because I gotta go for their fucking line. I'm telling you, man, this game is just pissing me off today. Get off me. You. As I said, I mean, I haven't really done much to, you know, ruin my line of driving, and yet these these cars in front of me are already almost passing, you know, like, they're almost passing the finish line, and uh, they're going to be hitting the finish line right now, and I haven't even got towards, you know, even close to the finish line, so how am I supposed to catch them and come in first place now, even though I'm in back of the pack? I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense of their logic of how the AIs work in this game. I wouldn't mind if I wasn't in the back of the pack every stand game, but that's a little bit of piss off. Excuse me, thank you. Let's try and pull this out of our asses again. We're gonna not even come in third place again, I can already see it. And I'm gonna go burn this car and claim insurance. my only really mistake on this uh, race because I've been using my rewinds and I'm still not even close to the leader. Like, the leader's pulling away from his own pack right now. That's... 
Oh, it's really frustrating, man. It really is. It really is. And then if I downgrade the driving tar, then you know I don't even get as much money for these races. And God knows, in turn 10, he's keeping this money very tight. Probably not very much right now. We have three laps though. I thought it was just only two laps, so I'm kind of happy about that. Hopefully we can pull someone out. There we go. Perfect corner. I like that. This is the guy that lost his spoiler in front of me, but he's just going to pull away. That speed. Look at that first place guy though. Jeez, man. That is nuts how fast he is right there. Uh, at least we can see second and third place right now, which is good, but still, I mean, it's not looking good, I'll tell you that. There we go. These cars' gearings are messed up, man. I don't, I don't like these cars' gearings. Right. There we go. We're, ca we're catching at least some of them, which is good. Come on, baby. This is frustrating, man. This is very tough to even come close. I just have to hit that e-brake a little bit. Like, this thing is just absolutely horrendous for these corners. I might even pick up my Venom, or my, my Venom or my, or my McLaren P1 for these races, because uh, this car might have to just call it quits for tonight. Just fed up with this car right now. Just absolutely fed up. Not happy with it whatsoever, gentlemen. Alright, here we go. Let's try and make this corner up. First gear. Woo! We made it! Cannot believe it, gentlemen. Doesn't matter though, we're still in seventh. We're not gonna catch this second and third place guy. I don't even know why I'm finished this damn race right now. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Let's finish the race and we know we're not going to win. Oh, my God, dude. These cars cannot compete with this, man. All right, here we go. I mean, if I was in first place right off the bat, I probably could. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I'm just making excuses up or what, but... And these cars are gone right now. They're hauling ass. See ya! We drafted them a little bit, but I don't think it's going to matter, though. I wish I could just spin out that guy right now. The guy doesn't even have a spoiler right now, man. He's still killing it. Unbelievable. All right, John, we're going to end it off here. I'm going to go burn this car real quick, and uh, I'll see you guys back here for next episode. Chibota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace.